Hey guys, Enter the Stars. And we're going to continue on with the 80th episode of Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, Cheers, and Frasier. We're going to try something a little bit different because it seems as though the New World Order wants to block every single decode that I'm doing now. If, I, if any volume is picked up from the episode. So we're only going to be able to show you guys visuals from now on. That way the most people possible can see this deception without having to click on other links and things like that. First of all, this quartet sings Heart of My Hearts, and we've already identified Cupid and Valentine's Day as a common theme. Then here at about five minutes, he says she's a sophisticated woman. She's been to Hawaii. We've already identified Hawaii as also a common theme in these episodes, pointing towards Barack Obama. In this part, Carlos tells Malone that at 87, he'll still be a hunk. And of course, 1987 was the halfway point to 9-11. It was the 14th year after 1973 that the World Trade Center opened. And in 1987, Building 7 opened at exactly the halfway point. 14 years later was 2001, and that was 9-11 for a total of 28 years of the life of the World Trade Center. There's always the rain. Here she's carrying an umbrella, and earlier Woody Harrelson comes in, and he's wet. He's got a raincoat on, and it's obviously wet, so there's your rain reference again. Now, all throughout Sam's stay in the hospital, you can hear the rain falling outside. It's so obvious. Rain, rain, and more rain as the uh, episode closes out. Now, the name of that episode was called Dark Imaginings. It was the 19th episode of the fourth season. It aired on February 20th. That's 2-2, two, 2-20. Two, two We're also going to look at the 88th episode of Frasier. It was the 16th episode. So we had the 19th and the 16th. This episode aired on April 1st. That is April Fool's Day. It is also the day that Christ was resurrected. Crucified on March 29th. Rose again in three days. April 1st. Now, the 16 and the 19 are important because, remember, 5761, the Hebrew year, is when 9-11 happened. We're also going to try to take a look at the 88th episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. We see the Twin Cities reference. Twin Cities, Twin Towers. We're also going to look at the 88th episode of the Dick Van Dyke Show. Scratch my car and die. We've seen the car theme repeated over and over. Now, at this point in the episode of Frasier, the 80th episode, Frasier's uh, door number is 1901. That's 911 scrambled. It's also 61 scrambled. But what's more important is this episode aired before 911. Then, immediately after this scene, they talk about Halloween. Of course, Obama was born 88 days before Halloween. This is the 88th episode. They dressed up as the Bay of Pigs. Now, we saw the Abraham Lincoln ad- reference in the 80th episode of Leave it to Beaver with the penny. We covered that in previous videos. And here again, we see it in Frazier in the question, Who delivered the Gettysburg Address? Remember, there's always a 14 in these episodes. Now, hopefully this video doesn't get banned, but I, you had to hear this for yourself. Listen, the 88th episode of Frasier. You know, the good thing about these balls is that they're all at the same level, so you can work on your form and your timing, all right? Okay, now, here we go. Ow! What is that, a, a printing machine or a particle accelerator? <laughs> So you see, all of this stuff about particle accelerators is not in our heads. We already had demonstrated to you guys that the 88th episode of all these TV series would contain these references to rings and particle accelerators. We saw it in the Flintstones. We saw it in the Cosby Show and many others. And now you heard Frazier say it. What is this, a particle accelerator? This is very important. It is central 
to their plans. And, and so the feeling you have inside about CERN and their activities is a very valid feeling. That is how the Holy Spirit works. Against all odds, against popular belief, against it all, and the truth shines through. Mary Tyler Moore, the 88th episode. She dates an anchor man from the Twin Cities on Channel 8. Here, uh, Mary Tyler Moore goes to have lunch with her new date. And all uh, time zones read four minutes past the hours. Now, this is interesting because this is all about time, right? So, Mary Tyler Moore is trying to report back to her newsroom that there is a barge on the Mississippi River that is sinking on a sandbar. And she keeps saying this over and over again. She's trying to call it into her newsroom because she gets the inside information uh, while she's here trying to meet the other guy for a date. And now this guy offers her a cup of coffee. So we have the coffee reference. We have the time reference. Sinking sand is the sinking sand of the hourglass. Okay, uh, The Bible says, do not build... Uh, your house on sinking sand, right? And I, I believe that that's all about time, okay? Being locked in time versus escaping the time matrix through Jesus Christ, you see? And it's interesting that he holds up the cup of coffee right in front of the number eight. I thought this was interesting. I'm not sure what the significance is, but this looks like a moon uh, calendar. It looks like they're showing both sides of the moon, uh, as well as the moon phases, I believe. And there's always a 9-11 reference in these episodes. And here we see the hands of the clock on 9 and 11. Now, in doing these decodes, there's always a bombshell. The bombshell in this decode is that in this 88th episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, they mention Yule Gibbons. They make a joke about Yule Gibbons. Now, who is Yule Gibbons? Well, remember, this was 1974. Yule Gibbons is this guy, and they were making fun of the fact that he was a health nut. They said something about a pizza, and they said it's like Yule Gibbons showing up with eating a pizza, which he would never eat because he was a health nut. The very next year after this show uh, aired, the 80th episode, he died. On December 29th, one year after that episode aired. Now, what's so special about December 29th? It just so happens to be Mary Tyler Moore's birthday. Now, you know, people can try to explain the stuff away. But they're, we're just dropping bombshells after bombshells on this channel. And this isn't the first time. After a while, you run out of coincidences, okay? And that brings us to the 80th episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show. And Mary Tyler Moore also is in this TV series as well. And here, Dick Van Dyke is looking outside, and he refers to the car as a tarantula. Of course, a tarantula has eight legs. Now, there's always an Africa reference in these 80th episodes, the Africa reference here was in reference to the Nova kit car. And I had, it took me some time to research this, but apparently the Tarantula car is the Zimbabwe version of the Nova kit car. Uh, it looks like in each country it was given a different name. And in Zimbabwe, it was called the Tarantula. So there's our Africa reference way back in 19... 64 in the dick van dyke show the 88th episode so dick van dyke obsesses about this new tarantula car and he doesn't want anything to happen to it but mary tyler moore has to take the kids to school because she's got a carpool so he starts talking about their smelly lunches and she says we can put their lunches in the trunk there's another car trunk reference we see this over and over again in the 80th episodes Eight ball on the desk 88th episode and as Dick Van Dyke is sitting at the desk with the eight ball he says that there is an eight-foot scratch on his new tarantula 
Now, just for clarification's sake, the eight ball is a regular prop on this show after researching this further. But the eight foot scratch and the eight ball, that was done on purpose as well. Remember, this is the 88th episode. On to episode 88 of Lost, the t- television series. We see a few things repeated here in this uh, episode as well. Rain. We saw the rain repeated in many of these 88 episodes. We also have an unconscious Saeed in the back of a car in the flashback. Hurley frantically drives around with an unconscious Saeed after their narrow escape from the safe house. So we have an unconscious Saeed in the car in this episode as well. We had the unconscious car theme running throughout the 88 episodes of different television series going back 50, 60 years. Hurley then goes on to put Saeed, the unconscious Saeed, in the back of a Jeep, as you can see here. Now, in this lost episode as well, Hurley wears a Shih Tzu t- uh, t-shirt, a uh, picture of a Shih Tzu on it, and the dog is one of the repeated themes in these 88 episodes. 